So welcome to day two of the empty nesters in Aruba. Pretty much for the first day, uh, we got in so late, room wasn't actually ready. So we went to the casino, played a little bit, explored the resort a little bit. And then later that evening, we went over to uh, Palm Bay Plaza and explored over there. But uh, this is our first beach day and this is the beach. So later on in the evening, we had our first dinner reservation at the Kyoto, which is the Japanese cuisine restaurant at the Barcelo, offers hibachi, which was actually the best meal we had on the property, or at least my favorite meal on the property. We actually went here twice. Sorry, I have no picks, but I got the salmon and it was the bomb. Welcome to day three. That's the weekly entertainment schedule for the nightly entertainment actually at the Barcelo. Uh, they always have entertainment in the main bar lobby as well as some stage shows in the uh, facility. Decided to take a cab down to Aranjastad today which is the capital city of Aruba. So our driver dropped us off at the Paddock Restaurant right here at the cruise terminal where there's pop-up shops. The colorful Dutch-inspired buildings are down here. Really beautiful, very picturesque. There is um, high-end shopping down here. Got an opportunity to check out some of the Pharrell pieces in the Louis store. This was actually a great day to come down here because there weren't any cruise ships in town uh, this particular day. If there were, this area would have been packed with tourists, trust me. So right now we're inside the Renaissance Mall and this mall has everything from Ralph Lauren to Zara. So there's a free trolley service in downtown around the side that'll take you around downtown. There's some tour guides that'll tell you a little bit about the area. This building is the National Archaeological Museum of Aruba. Pretty cool stuff down here. So be sure to check it out on your next visit. So later that evening, we went back over to uh, Palm Beach Plaza. And over there, there's free entertainment over there as well. Count me in for anything free, particularly when it involves Pretty Dancing Girl. So then we returned to the resort to find out it was disco night. Check it out. 